Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Hasselberger, and I make lifestyle and fashion kind of videos on this channel. I do a lot of vlogs, but you know, every once in a while we have a sit down video like this one. <laughs> so today I wanted to show you guys a bunch of things that I picked up at the mall this weekend. I'm going to California on Wednesday to go visit a law school. For those of you guys who don't know, I've been taking the LSAT, applying to law school. I've got into, I think, four or five schools at this point. I'm waiting to hear back from a handful more and I'm very excited. One of the law schools is uh, flying me out for a like weekend so I'm very excited and it's in Southern California so I did a little bit of shopping. Also if you're not aware I have lost a significant amount of weight. I haven't really like shared a lot of it with you guys on my YouTube channel. There's like no reason why I haven't been sharing more with you guys. Um, I try to show you what I eat, but when it comes to exercising, I exercise at a gym, which is usually pretty busy, so it's weird kind of filming, and I also do group fitness classes, so I can't film those. I've lost about 45 pounds, which is really exciting, and I started losing weight in, like, I started the whole weight loss journey in June of last year, in 2017, so that means that a lot of my summer clothes are too big and I actually tried on a few things for you guys in the last vlog that I filmed showing how things are a little a little baggy which is weird but cool and exciting so I'm not exactly sure what the itinerary is I'll be there Wednesday through Sunday but I wanted to have different things I'm like looking at the floor because it's all like down here that I could wear and this is gonna be a try on so you guys can see how it looks on the body um, if you want to find out a little bit more information about my weight loss, I've been detailing a lot of it on Instagram. So shameless plug, follow me at Sarah Rose Hass. That's my Instagram handle, my Twitter handle, and I don't really think I have any other social media. I know I have, I have a Pinterest board. Do you guys like want to know what my Pinterest board is? I don't know. All right, so let me show you guys the clothes and stop blabbering. This trip is kind of a big deal for me because this is the first time since high school and I'm 22, just to give you an idea. It's the first time since high school that I've shopped in the regular section of Forever 21 and not the plus size section. So I was really, got a text, turn my sound off, but that was really exciting. So this is a rust colored kind of reddish, but not too red because you know, with the red hair, it doesn't, doesn't translate well, but it has buttons all down the front and then it cinches in, in the middle and it has these pretty sleeves and it's just really flowy and delicate and the back goes down um, a little bit further than the front which is good because it covers my big booty. I fit into regular size like large in Forever 21 when it's not tight on my butt but I have a big butt. <laughs> Some things fit on my waist but I can't get it over my ass. We're still working on that. I really like this. I think it's super pretty and it cinches in the waist which is really nice and it has pockets and I love it. It was $24.90 which I think is really good for a dress that you could dress up with tights and I feel like I could probably wear it to work or I could just wear it on the weekends. It's pretty versatile which is nice. This is also from Forever 21 and it's also pretty transitional from business to casual and everywhere in between. It is a shift dress and it's black with short sleeves and this yellow and slightly purple floral pattern on it. And it's really pretty and I think it's very flattering and when I wear it I feel like I could pair it with a blazer and wear it to a business casual function or I could wear it on its own with a pair of heels. and. I could also wear it like just like with sandals like it's super casual so I really really like this dress and will definitely be wearing it at some point when I'm in California because I don't want to wait to wear it it's supposed to snow again this week in Connecticut and I'm just over it I'm ready for some sunshine I went to Francesca's and I got this dress which oh it looks so good on I love this dress so much you know when you have like a piece of clothing that just like looks so good on you. Like I stepped out of the dressing room and the girl at the store told me it looked good and my mom was like, oh my god. It was one of those things where I was like, this is why losing weight is worth it. Like, I feel good in my body and I'm healthier, but I just felt so good about my like frame and my figure and like yeah I still have a tummy and my arms aren't like super toned and you know there are areas I want to work on my big butt won't fit into her forever 21 pants yet but you know it just I felt so incredibly beautiful and confident and I hope it shows 
when I wear this like in the cutaways because I adore this dress and I love it so much. I got this sweater, which I think I have the exact same one from Francesca's or something very similar, um, but I wore it to death maybe like two or three years ago to the point where it had giant gaping holes in it. I don't think this is the same one because I think that one had pockets, but it's just this dress. That's not a dress. This is a sweater. <laughs> it's just this light sweater. I thought it would be good for California this weekend. I thought this would be good to kind of layer. If it's like on the warmer side during the day, this might be something cozy in the nighttime. Maybe I'll need something a little bit warmer than this. I'm not quite sure, but I'm definitely going to bring it and see how it goes. <laughs> I think it's a nice layering piece and pretty essential for the summertime. And I'm moving to a place that's almost always 70 degrees and sunny, so this will be nice. I went to Primark and I got these black pants. I've had them before in a smaller size or a bigger size but the like tassel broke off and they just became too baggy so these are in a size 10. The black dress is in a size extra large from Forever 21 and then everything else is in a size large and these are a size 10 from Primark. They're just black with little tassels and they cuff at the bottom and they're super comfy and I wore pants like this to my internship during college like at least once a week so I, I think I will get a good use out of them throughout law school they're kind of like very they're very business casual but they're also really really comfortable which I like these are in a size 12 from Primark and they're the black jean shorts they're the mom style which is my favorite style I love like how the mom ones like go all the way up past your belly button and it's like not just high-waisted but like the highest of the high-waisted <laughs> and they're very comfortable like I mentioned when I transitioned over like the clothes that I have in storage in my basement to like when I brought them up to go through them and it was like all my spring and summer stuff from last year hardly any of my shorts fit with the exception of like like fabric shorts or like elastic waistband shorts everything that was like a jean or like a denim jean denim same thing but you know like like shorts, like not just like fabric, like flouncy shorts or whatever. I hope this makes sense. But things that were a little bit more structured and tailored with buttons, yeah, way too big. They, I couldn't even belt them. That's how big they were, too big. So I needed a new pair of shorts and I like these and I'm probably going to wear them to California because I'm going to be hanging out with a friend in addition to all of the law school stuff. So shorts. Also from Primark I got these sunglasses just because I broke my last pair of sunglasses when I was traveling and these are $3.50 and I think they're really cute. They are rose gold, kind of aviators with this crisscross criss cross styling up here. Very nice, very cute. I like them. I haven't been telling you guys the prices on everything because not, I guess everything has a tie on it. Oh, those glasses were $4.50, not $3.50. I don't know. Please don't make me go through it again. <laughs> I'll try to link everything down below and you can just find out the prices there. I went a little bit shoe crazy at Primark. I got these shoes, which are like a peep toe suede heel. Um, they have like a, the backs are like open and just kind of like loops around your your ankle like that. And I thought these would be good because I can dress them up. I can wear them like more businessy, I can wear them to work, and you know, with a little peep toe, good for the summertime. I like them. Every single year, I buy a pair of fake Birkenstocks and I wear the crap out of them until they are smelly or destroyed or both. And usually I buy them from Payless, but last year they're like $25 at Payless, and I was like, what? This does not make sense. So I'm waltzing through Primark, just like trying to find clothes for my law school trip, completely focused so focused on that and I come across these and these so these are those fake Birkenstocks that I wear every single year and they were only seven dollars from Primark and they also had these which are like blush pink which I love with gold hardware which I love with white on the bottom like they are so cute and I know a lot of people think these are super ugly but I find them so effortless and so nice and I adore them and I would show you them on but I desperately need a pedicure and I don't want to subject you guys to that <laughs> oh I forgot to show you guys this is from Francesca's I didn't show you with the clothing um but it's a wallet the wallet I have was from Christmas 
2016 and it's literally like falling apart so I just picked up this wallet because they were having a sale off of their um what is this micro pack recycle oh cool it's a recyclable thing in there they were having a sale at Francesca's and I forgot to show you guys this when I showed you the clothes but they were buy one get the next two items 40% off I think it's kind of confusing and I got the sweater and the dress and I also got this wallet and I think it's just really simple it's leather brown has things for cards has things for money or checks and then a little pouch for you know your coins and whatnot your ID simple simple and I got this because the current wallet I have is from Christmas 2016 and it's falling apart so I really needed another one back to Primark I got black socks because I like to wear black socks in the gym and I have like lost maybe I would say four pairs somewhere in this house and my mom says she keeps finding them but they have not found me so I went and I bought some more black socks. My mom and I also have this running joke that the Primark, it's not really a running joke but it's like an inside thing, that the Primark um, hair clips are the best and they are. Like they hold your hair so well and they don't hurt and we both have super sensitive scalps and this one is in this like, like blush light baby pink and it's pearlescent and it's so pretty I don't know if you can tell but it's gorgeous and when I saw it I was like hey mom look they have another like color of this that we don't have yet and she was like it's already in my cart so there's that free people was having some sort of percentage off of their clearance so I picked up this top my mom liked the other one which is like white with pink on it but something about this that just brings me lots of joy it's this gorgeous like t-shirt top with embroidery it's like blues and a little lavender on this orangey yellow and I don't own a single shirt this color nor do I think I ever have and oh my gosh I just love it so much it's kind of cropped I tried it on with a pair of high-waisted denim mom jeans from um American Eagle and it looked so nice and I feel like it would look good with shorts or jeans and I am a fan of this. It's super lightweight and flowy and kind of bohemian and cool and exactly how I want to look. Okay guys, this is like a big deal for me because I have lots of business casual clothes but I don't have any business clothes. So I went to Ann Taylor and I picked up this top and it is a cream top with gorgeous sleeves and this detailing in the front this like makes a bow and then there's this like ruffling and it's really delicate and pretty and I didn't care for it too much at first on its own I'm gonna put it back here on the bed instead of on the floor but tucked into this skirt oh it looks so freaking good it's like my like baby lawyer outfit like it's gonna be my first like I'm gonna be a lawyer outfit like when I do presentations or like mock trials or whatever I end up getting myself into out there ah, I'm so excited but it has a matching jacket but I didn't get the jacket because it was a little bit too expensive as a set but my mom was like maybe I'll get you the jacket for Easter and I was like hey I'll take it it makes me feel like Laurel on how to get away with murder like if you guys watch that show like it makes me feel like her the way she dresses I don't know I just felt really really sharp and this is like heavy duty the lining super nice and it feels lovely I love the pattern on it it's just like what I feel like I should be wearing and I am very happy about that like I'm not I didn't buy it like oh this is what like I should have and I don't really want it but I should have it it was like I I was supposed to have this in my life and I'm so happy about it and I am so excited Okay, that was also exciting because that's a size 12 petite skirt because I'm on the shorter side. I'm only 5'3", five, 5'4", five, and the shirt is size large. So the shirt from Free People is a size medium. It's a little bit on the baggier side. So just as an FYI. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time. Oh, and make sure to hit that bell notification because if you haven't noticed, YouTube is a little wonky and that will notify you when I upload, maybe, YouTube. What's going on? But yeah, it, it'll help, I guess. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.